Hey, what's going on, folks? Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Salt, which is a uh, seafaring game out on Steam. I'll put a link down below in the description. You can check it out for yourself. It's actually been out for quite some time. I played it several years ago and put some time into it. We had a lot of fun. It's just kind of a very casual exploration slash adventure game in a wide open sea that is just infinite. So you just keep sailing and finding new islands. And there's some interesting things on the islands to play around with. It's not really a true survival game, um, but there's, uh, there's some mystery and there's questing and there's some pirates and there's boat building and uh, you can customize the ships as well. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, again, I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out for yourself. There is a free demo. It's for Windows only, and it's got single player and multiplayer. In fact, I think they added multiplayer. So, um, and by the way, I was brought back to this because I happened to notice the uh, the developers Lava Boots um, are working on Salt 2. So that is uh, currently in development, and I'm looking forward to it quite a bit. Let's make up a character here. And we're going to call it uh, Captain, if I can type this out, my microphone on my face. Call it Captain Punchwood and World Seed. Let's let's use Punchwood as a seed as well. If you want to follow along, then your world would be pretty much the same as mine. We'll do a normal game mode. There is a hardcore one life to live thing if you want to go that route. But I like the casual part of this. So let's create and let's go. All right, here we are. Man, it's been forever. <laughs> Press H to learn about the controls. Yeah, so we're going to get all the tutorial tips here, which is basically just a lot of reading. Um, it's been a long time since I've played, but it's not that complicated. It's very basic for the most part. I might have to refer to that later, but I kind of remember what to do and what not to do and uh, how to do things for the most part. What is that, little guy? It's a little bird. I don't remember little birds flying around. That's cool. Oh, there's a dude here. Yeah, so they've upgraded the questing system. There's one main quest and then a whole bunch of side quests. Uh, and I don't remember ever finishing the main quest, but there is some mystery involved and we'll have to uncover the clues of the mystery over uh, over time. Let's, um, let's have a chat with this kind of grumpy looking fella here. Hello? A mysterious figure. You're awake, I see. Yes, I am. Let's speak to the stranger. I wonder how long you would lay there. I was starting to think you wouldn't make it. Not many travel to my island these days, and rarely do I let myself be known to those that do. Lucky for you, unlucky for this pirate lying by my campfire. You need some supplies. I suppose you can take what is in my chest and crates and whatever that pirate was carrying. Who are you? It is not what one says, but one one does that defies them, and so the question remains, who will you be? You might be able to make a name for yourself in this land. There is a man that keeps a number of inns throughout the seas. Mark my beacons, perhaps pay him a visit if you need some direction. Okay. And a raft. Raft over there? That is not mine. You can take it. It looks like it needs to be repaired. Okay. Yeah, we got to repair a raft. So there's a raft somewhere. And we can fix it up. And then it'll become, become ours. Um, oh, there it is down there. It's not much at first, but we can get bigger boats over time. <laughs> this must be the pirate. Uh, we left some stuff behind. A short sword. Um, orders from Buffbeard Book, Bronze Chest Key, and Ragged Gloves. All right. Yeah, let's put that stuff on. I think the way we do this is, yeah, equip it over there. Equip that down there. And I think the books will tell you how to do all this. So here's the basic crafting recipes. I mean, there's some crafting in it, not a, not a whole heck of a lot. But you got some of the basic crafting recipes right there. Then we have orders of Buffbeard Entry 1. I'm not going to read that to you. I'll leave it up. You guys can read it, but this is kind of the start of the overall quest. And we'll we'll get to that later. Let's open up this chest here and get all the goodies. Cloth, gold coins. So there are merchants scattered around we can buy from. Basic wood, some coal, plant fibers. Flags to be placed down, which are, I guess, reminders or markers or something. I don't think there's any like teleporting in this game. I'm not really sure. White flower potion is a healing potion. Yes. Let's put that down here. Um, no torch, huh? I guess we can craft one. Whoops. All right. Um, well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. What about these? Oh, this got stuff in here, too. Wood, flint stones, wood and coal. All right. Fantag fantagulous. Fantagulous. 
All right, we're gonna go. Let's go grab that. Um, let's go grab that raft. But first, it's probably a good idea to look around this initial island for any loots. Oh, we got. Uh, do we have a pickaxe yet? We do not have a pickaxe. Oh, here we go. There's a pickaxe right here <laughs> on the ground. That was convenient. So most of the islands will have a few bare resources on them, uh, like rocks. It's got to be some wood lying around. You don't actually chop trees, which is an interesting way to do things. But you will find boulders that can give you certain kinds of rock. And uh, there's different types of wood you'll find scattered on the ground. Let's go over to this rock right here. Yes, this guy right here. This is how you get. Um, you get iron too, I think, from some of these. Not all of them. Stone block and coal. All right. Ah, here we go. Here is a log. So you're going to find these logs lying around. And most islands will have a handful of them. So use them wisely because they are a limited resource. But kind of the whole idea is to spend a little time in each island. Find the resources you need. Might even be some secrets and some hidden things. There's going to be some generated structures around too. Might be pirates and that kind of thing. And then move on to the next island and do the whole thing over again. And you'll eventually, um, I guess, complete the main quest. And you'll find tidbits and bits of information about what that quest is. Again, I don't really remember what that quest was. <laughs> but I do know there's like cultists involved. And keep your eyes up toward the trees. If you see any fruit, you can whack the tree and the fruit will fall. And you do have to eat, even though there's not like super hardcore survival elements in the game. You do have to eat once in a while. I don't see any fruit on these trees. All right. I think we got everything we need from this island, so let's go. All right. Let's climb aboard. Oh, we gotta, we got to repair it first. Right. Seven wood logs and two cloth swatches. We have all that. Thank goodness. And now we can sail. So I remember the sailing being kind of, being kind of wonky. Press H to learn about boats. In order to travel around the world, you would need a boat. Yes. So we have a little raft. It's not great, but it's ours. And now we can sail to some of these little islands over here. Yeah, so this is how you steer this thing. You have to get behind the rudder <laughs> and then turn it left to right. You can just let go and then look around. So, you, I mean, you get some decent freedom, but it's it, it leaves much to be desired. You don't want to use the raft for very long if you don't have to, obviously. So we're going to keep our eyes open for either a pirate ship that we can steal or we can build. We can build new ships as well right here. Like a sailing rat, uh, belt, rather, is the one we want. Seven hardwood, which is different types of wood that we'll find lying on the ground on these islands. Let's go to this one to the right. Looks like it might be a little bit closer. Torch holder received. Really? Oh, okay. We have a journal here as well. Let's, make, let's just try to get this thing going straight. It is fast, at least. I mean, it, it's moving pretty good. So that is one good thing about this raft. Sort of, uh, if you compare it to the Valheim raft, if you've played that before, oh my gosh, it's so bad. You successfully steered your sail raft while facing forwards. Okay, we got a, um, we got a, uh, a holder, a torch holder. Oh, look at that. We got a little torch holder. Can we put that on here while we're sailing? This is what's cool. Um, I really like this that you can just sail and move around, and there you go. And you can place stuff on your raft while you're moving <laughs> can we make a torch how do we make a torch there it is there it is there it is quickly quickly now <laughs> whoops all right i don't want to crash into this island can we put it in there oh yeah look at that we now have a headlight <laughs> that's so cool so yeah once again we're just gonna we're gonna harvest all the things we need on this little island and then we're gonna boogie it looks like something is there Let's go check it out. So this is all procedurally generated, at least as far as I know, the whole thing is. Although maybe in the beginning, like the guy obviously wasn't the little man that gave us some direction in the beginning. But I think after that, it's all procedural. Oh, got a little music. Climb right up. Yes, we can. There's a little camp here. Hey, this looks a lot like that last camp we were just at, but it's a different camp. 
Now, this is all random loot, as far as I know. A common, uh, uncommon dagger used for quick, deadly blows. Backstabs with the secondary attack deal extra damage. Wow. Nine pierce, 40 delay. How's that compare? Oh, it's better. Well, we're going to take it, obviously. We've got some bandages and Lost King's Die Piece 4. An old die with swords etched onto it. A C collector might be interested in the entire set. So I guess that isn't something that we use, but we can sell it. And we got a compass, a tool used to find your heading. That seems handy. This this might be planted. Oh, we got a fire here. Yeah, let's light it. And a deer. I'm gonna go shoot it. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. Swabby's rum. <laughs> all right, this this could be planted. Uh, obviously, the loot is probably random. Lucky lure. Oh yeah, there's fishing in this game, and there's a couple of legendary fish that you want to track down, and they're really hard to find. There's some hard stone ore. It can be used in crafting. All right, the campfires, by the way, are used for resting. So we can come back here later and uh, and rest up through the night. The nights are super long. In some islands, they can get pretty scary at night. There's a little hut. There's a little hut here. Let's go check out the hut. Oh, there's some fruit right there. In fact, why don't we grab it? I don't see anybody around the outside of it, so maybe, maybe there's nobody home. And yeah, that green bar down here is the food bar. Let's eat. I think it is anyway, isn't it? No, no, don't destroy it, dude. They eat it. Too full to eat that. Yeah. Oh, look at this. We have, um... Oh, there goes the deer. <laughs> they leave trails. Look at that. So we can track them down when we're hunting them. That's cool. Yeah, I don't remember these structures before. Hello, anybody up there? Can we climb? Oh, yeah. Interact. Oh, zipped right up. What is that? <gasps> it's a bow! We just made a bow. And now we get another one. We get two bows. Drat. That was a waste. Four deer remain. Times two, times three. Wait, what? I can't open this. Maybe we have to hunt deer. Can I take those arrows? No. Oh, here's some arrows. One arrow. Hunter's arrow. A rare and very durable arrow. Specialized for hunting. 100% retrieve chance. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Deer pelt, deer meat, deer scent. Some deer are attracted to the smell. Hunter's Lost Charm. A Lost Charm huntsman residing in Jungle Isles might be interested in this. Looks like more selling stuff. And a dusty journal. Is that it? Can I take the lamp? No. So we have one arrow. Let's go hunt this deer. Let's see if we can kill him. Can I get down? No, I guess... Oh, I fell. Okay, the fall damage. <laughs> Let's switch to the bow. We got one shot. Look at the little bird. Just gliding. Can we shoot the bird? I have a feeling if I shoot up into the air, I might lose this 100% retrievable arrow. Oh, there is. There he is. Okay, let squat down. How do I shoot? Pull it back and let rip. And I got him. Let's chase him down. <laughs> I'm going to get the arrow back. <laughs> Sticking out of his chest. Oh, 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 hold on. He stopped. Is he bleeding out? Now, is he leading? Is he leaving tracks? I don't see tracks. Oh, there they are. Okay. Well, these tracks are going in different directions. Whoa! Man, there's more than one, apparently. It's a very high traffic area. This could be a backstab if we get in quick and slice him. Oh, <laughs> I got him. Okay. Remaining deer marked. Oh. Wait a minute, so we're marking the deer. Oh, there's our arrow. We did get it back. Hey, we got a pristine deer pelt. Ooh, and deer antlers for sale. And deer guts can be used for bait. I remember that. All right, it looks like we got one of the deer. I think we have to get four deer, right? Isn't that what the quest said, sort of? Now does the body stay? No, the body goes. Goodbye, body. Okay, ready? Aim for the heart. I missed him! Oh no. Whoa! Came right at us. Are you. How did I miss him? Uh oh. I think I lost our only arrow. And that thing could be gone. That could be long gone, like in the ocean gone. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, there were some resources down here. Let's go check them out. Yeah, here's a rock. And it's getting late, so I think we're gonna have to go up. To the uh, the camp and maybe do some sleeping. We get a sharp stone. We got a rough ruby and flint stones. How do you make a sharp stone? I don't think we can make a sharp stone. I think we just have to find one. 
Rest through the night. Yes, we want to go rest through the night. Oh, it's a moon rock boulder. Right, I remember these. We get moon rocks out of them. Moon rock ore. We can make like a really nice weapon with that, if I recall correctly. A moon rock sword. All right, let's go to the camp. Let's sleep through the night and figure out how to get some arrows. <laughs> Oh, no, don't hit it, dude. Don't hit it. Rest until sunrise. Ah, here we go. 11 hours later. It's a beautiful day. Put the torch away. And let's let's keep looking around for resources. We gotta, we gotta kill these deer. If we don't get the necessary rock for arrows, we're gonna have to stab them to death. I mean, I suppose we could go to that other island over there and get some rock, maybe. Oh, I just got a hardwood. I just got a hardwood. It looked a little bit different from the regular wood. It's a rare log from an ancient tree. So I don't know if it's indicated by certain trees or anything or just scattered around randomly. I think they're just scattered randomly, essentially. <laughs> but you might get one or two or three on an island or maybe none at all. But they're good to, uh, they're good to have because you need them to make the, uh, the boats, the new boats in particular. Seven hardwood to make the sail boat, which is going to be much better than our raft, that's for sure. Oh, there's another hardwood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's worth it to scan every inch of the islands that you land on. And there are different kinds of islands, too. What is that little thing? What is that? Red spotted mushroom. Look like an eyeball. <laughs> little and spotted gives you a quick boost of stamina regeneration when you can when you consume it. Nice. All right. Yeah, so lesson learned. When you're aiming at a target, make sure there's a solid drop back before releasing your arrow. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to send it into the sea. You'll never see it again. Okay, I'm back, and I am a big dummy. I now have arrows, and I know how to make them because I can read. <laughs> and we're down to one deer left. I've shot all the others. There we go. Let's track him down. Let's finish him off. I might try to get the backstab in here. And I figured out how to do the backstab, too. You actually have to get in close and use your secondary attack. And it takes a lot of stamina. So you only get one every couple of seconds. So let's try that on this guy. And it does a lot of damage, a lot more damage. 18 pierce. And I think 100% critical. We'll see. So anyway, we can make arrows with flintstone. It literally says right on the description of the flint that it is a sharp stone. <laughs> but I am clearly not the sharpest tool in the shed. Didn't even see that. Oh! Don't even budge. Oh, look at the arrow sticking out of the chest there. That was a nice shot. Didn't kill him in one, one hit, though. All right, we got him. We're going to sneak right up, get this backstab, and maybe it'll kill him in one shot. And then that will be the end of this quest. <laughs> And we can move on to a different island. All right, here we go. Get in close and wham! Well, that's a pretty good hit. Not a critical, but did a lot of damage. That should do it right there. All right, trying to get away on my boat. All right, we get the arrows back off the body. And that's everything. And we completed the quest. Let's go turn it in and see what we got. All right, let's interact. We opened it up. Yay, we got a hunter token carried by hunters. Uh, if you can call me that, a sea collector might be interested in this too. Seems like there's a lot of stuff to sell, but not a whole lot to use. What is that? Oh, a hunting spear that can be used to jab enemies or thrown at them. 14 slash 40 delay and a whole bunch of poison arrows. Nice. We'll save those for the pirates because they're pretty tough. All right, let's climb aboard and let's go. Just going to turn this thing around. If you have trouble with your boat, if it gets stuck on the on land, because sometimes the tide will go out and your boat's going to be beached, you can get to it from this tab right here. Just click on the raft or whatever boat you happen to have, and you can plop it right down. And it disappears from over there, obviously. You don't get extra rafts, but uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty cool. Let's lower the sail and let's go. I see smoke on that island over there. There might be pirates or maybe a merchant. So let's go check that island out. Dead ahead. Two fires and I see one. Looks like maybe two. Two dudes milling about. Probably pirates. 
So I think we're going to use our poison arrows here. Well, let's make sure they're pirates first. We don't want to just start shooting people if they're friendly. <laughs> and keep your eyes open for fibers. There's some plant on the dang ground that gives us fibers. We're going to need them to make the cloth for the sail for our new boat. All right, there, there's the guy. We could set up like a trip wire. They're pretty fun. Is it just one? I see one guy here. Oh, it's a pirate scavenger. Yeah, he's a bad man. Let's shoot him. Thank, got him. Oh gosh, I did not do a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, is the poison okay? The poison's over time. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm just gonna keep stabbing him. This thing does good damage. Yeah, the combat's a little little funky, but it's fun. <laughs> it's pretty basic, but. You do get some good loots. We got a crude arrow, an apple, some coins, and a strange coin shard. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but that guy did a number on me. Oh, there's the other guy over there. I wonder if we can backstab him. Let's try a backstab. I have this little dagger right here. He's looking the other direction. Yeah. Oh, ow. <laughs> okay. He turned around fast, didn't he? Let's get on the boat. Oh, hit me in the, in the back. You jerk. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. All right, we're safe. He doesn't come into the water. Apparently he doesn't know how to swim. I'm going to try to draw him over here. Shoot him with the poison arrow and then get back on the boat. Oh, yeah, we can just kite him like this all day long. You know what? Let the poison do its thing. Yeah, he's taking damage from the poison and he's dead. <laughs> And I think I get my arrow back. <laughs> I sure do. Ooh, pirate tunic. Three armor. And if you get the set, you can sail faster. It's got a couple of books here, too. Sailboat crafting recipe. Ooh. All right, well, let's check that out. Let's put on that tunic first. There we go. Gives us a little bit of armor. And a sailboat crafting recipe. Well, we already know that anyway, because we have the other book. So that, that seems kind of redundant. And here's some, uh, some piratey information about pirates. I'm going to go sleep by this fire right here. I think this island's clear. And then we'll go walk around and get all the resources. Rest until sunrise. There we go. All right. Let's grab all the other stuff here. Is there another? Looks like there's another fire. Oh, there's more pirates. Yeah, these white flowers allow us to make potions. And there's some plant fibers. You don't get them all the time. Oh, boy. There's another pirate. Jeez, he's a dodger. This guy's a dodger. Just going to run to the water where they don't seem to follow. <laughs> Let's poke him a little with our spear. Dang. Tougher than he looks. All right, grab that. And we got a cloth swatch. Fantastic. And a broken pirate axe. Oh, yeah, we can repair the axe and get our own. Is this the chest? Okay. I think we defeated all the pirates here. No, we didn't. Three pirates remain. <laughs> so there's more pirates on this island. And we have to go eliminate all of them to get what's in that chest. What is this? Oh, it's a rich boulder. What does a rich boulder give us now? Flint and hard stone. Right, the hard stone is used for some recipes. Hard stone is used in multiple recipes. A deck fire pit. Oh, I want that. Yeah, there's a lot of recipes here. A deck fire pit. Well, we'll put that on a better boat. I'm not going to put that on a raft, that's for sure. All right, we're going to have a pirate here. <clears throat> Okay, the armor seems to help quite a bit. Even that little bit of armor that we have. Because they're just not hitting me as hard. As, or maybe it was just that pirate scavenger who was tough, that first guy. Oh, look at that. That was a uh, critical. <laughs> right in the family jewels. We did it. Cloth swatch. And let's grab this boulder right here first. And then we'll go get the loot. There we go. We got a pirate token. We can sell it. More hardwood and an enhanced pirate tunic. Five armor and seven strength. Wow. That's fantastic. I think we have enough 
hardwood now for the new boat, don't we? Yeah, we have seven hardwood. We just need two more cloth, which means we need more plant fiber. We need three plant fiber to make one cloth. All right, well, let's walk around the rest of this island and maybe we'll find some more plant fiber. I'd love to make the new sailboat for the end of this episode. <laughs> There's a plant down here, a couple of them. Hopefully they have some fibers. Yeah, that one did. All right, we're back on the raft, heading to a new island. And this looks like there's some kind of village over here. I don't know if those are pirates or friendly people or what. I don't know. But we need one more plant fiber. And we can make this uh, the new raft. A new boat, rather. Sailboat. What do we got? Ooh, what is that? Ironite. We got iron ore. Sweet. We can use that for crafting. Metal tools and weapons. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 got one. Got one right next to this rich boulder. Fantastic. So we are done. We can go make our sailboat. Woohoo. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it right here in this nice little cove. First, we're going to make the cloth, right? All right, so seven hardwood, four cloth, and we got a sailboat. Just like that. Woohoo. All right, now where is it? Over here under boats. Yep, there it is. Small sailboat. Awesome. Oh, baby. All right, let's turn it around. Where's the front? Uh, I guess that's the front right there. Oh, yeah. Let's go get our torch holder. Can I put this way out in the front over here? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Right there, maybe? Yeah. And then a torch in it. Number nine. Interact. There we go. We now have a headlight. It's glorious. And I want to make that other thing, which was what? It was hard stone. Yeah, this right here. A deck fire pit. I wonder if we can use this fire pit for sleeping through the night. I don't know. Let's put it down. Let's put it in the back. Since we have that other light up front. Interact. Light with one foot and foot one wood and two flintstone <gasps> it's beautiful look at that guys and we can oh we can rest right here on the boat now when we're out sailing the seas we don't have to stop and light a fire that is fantastic oh i love it i love it all right let's let's sail let's sail i don't want to go too far because i want to explore this village over here but i just want to show you how this thing rides Woohoo! Just wish we had a horn. <laughs> I think those might be pirates over there, and there's a lot of them. That won't be easy to conquer. Oh, yeah. So much nicer than the raft. All right, cool. I'm going to pull over here, and we're just going to call it for the day. Let me know if you guys want to see more of Salt. Again, Salt 2 is in development right now, and that's why I came back to this game. It's a couple years old, but there's a free demo if you want to check it out for yourself i'll put the link down below in the description all right well i think we're gonna call it quits here just want to admire my my new beauty look at that girl she is a beaut um, and i love that we can build on our boats and in fact we can get a much bigger boat than this one by the way there's giant pirate ships that we can um we can steal i don't think we can build the pirate ships but we can steal them <laughs> Um, speaking of pirates, there's more pirates over there. We got some on this island, and uh, I'm going to quit right now and probably go explore a little bit and let me know if you want to see more of this game. Like I said, Salt 2 is in development. It should be out shortly. But um, now that I'm in this game, I kind of want to kind of want to get a big, big, big sailboat uh, pirate ship and deck it out. And we can sleep in it and live in it and have fun in it and all that jazz. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.